as you can see probably there is a car who hit him so yeah i don't know what's going on with them let's see i'm just gonna call the vet hopefully she's not far away yeah let's see just just relax just relax okay So I was told that the vet um, is not going to be available. Um, yeah, so let's see what's going on. You can see, check his. He cannot. What's up, boy? See? See how it is? I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it's not looking good. what I did I called like five six vets and uh, which do appear on Google to be 24 hours 24 7 but at the end of the day when you call them they don't answer thanks God one of them did answer but still I wasted a lot of time just going one after the other so what I do is whenever I call someone who's 24 7 and they don't answer I just suppose that probably they're just so busy that they don't answer so I go to the um, to the vet then I find them um, closed frankly I I don't know I'm not that super optimistic about that one I just found them on the sidewalk and you can see it's a lot of dirt I didn't have a cage in my car I just want to work but of course like when you find something like this you don't want to work or you don't want to do anything it's just you know just I took him right away and uh, kept calling 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 but that's why this this country is, uh, is BS there's not one single emergency in this country that takes care of animals. I mean, that's... Hmm. Everything will be good, my friend. Okay, okay. All right, all right. See? See what's going on? Both his um, paws and limbs have been affected. So, as you can see, as a result, went to work, then coming back, dirty but it's all good hoping now uh, he's gonna survive god bless there you go he's drinking you like it yeah <laughs> that's a good sign So now we took him to the vet. Like I said, two limbs are um, broken into pieces. It's well pieced up. And um, yeah, he was very thirsty. So people outside was not, they were not giving him any water, any food. BS people. Um, so now he told me, you know, just that he spends the night over here because they don't want to let him over there and at the vet. The vet's place and then uh, tomorrow he's gonna get his surgery but in the meantime I brought, I brought him home and uh, I'm gonna give him some uh, kitten while I can uh, hopefully he can eat if he's not eating then I'm gonna try another another method so that's exactly uh, what I'm gonna do right now just a little bit let's see if he reacts to it there you go there you go boy there you go my boy see Oh, I love it. There you go. He's eating. Okay, there you go, my boy. There, it's all yours. It's all yours. Eat well. It's all okay. See, he cannot move his limbs there. Open, you know? He does not. He doesn't feel them. Yeah. His tail as well has been just probably... As you can see, this is the position where he feels most comfortable. But after a few, a few seconds, he starts crying. And then again, trying to find another position that's gonna be um, making him feel, feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, 
I hope he's gonna find some sleep because we still have five, yeah, six hours to go before uh, we get him to the vet. So of course I cannot sleep. I'm gonna wait to see that. He cannot just stay in one position just for a minute. And what's uh, going on, my buddy? Everything's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be alright. See? Everything's gonna be alright. Oh, bro. in the morning finally it's 8 30 let's go boy let's go let's go Today I'm going to be sharing with you a very special video about something that happened to me yesterday, 12th of July 2022. That's good for me to document as well. So I went to work in the morning and then suddenly I hear a little, um, little cat just crying, mewing. And then whenever I hear these kind of voices, I would just generally leave. I don't like to, I can't focus when I hear, um, you know, whether it is, uh, you know, uh, any pet, just crying. I cannot send it. So I went back home, did my thing for the day, and then got back around 9 p.m. And then the moment I get there, what happens, I see that exact same cat, even if I didn't see him when I left the coffee shop, but I knew him, um, you know, because he had the same voice, same way he was mewing. So I found him on the sidewalk, so what happened, there was a car that he was, he was run over by car and then somebody just picked him up from that next to that coffee shop and they put him in the middle of the sidewalk. And trust me, there were a lot of people, I would say tens if not hundreds of people going back and forth, you know, the sidewalk and going to that coffee shop. It's crazy. Nobody cared about him. That's how crazy society is. And that's why, you know, I was, I was, I was, you know, like literally pissed and, and to see him in that stage and nobody would take care of him. And then, so I, the moment I was going to the coffee shop, what I see is that little kitten and I was praying, hopefully, please God, I don't want to see a kid over there. I picked him up right away, took him to the car. I didn't work straight, picked up my, my phone, um, looking for 24 seven emergencies on Google. I would call one by one by one, literally, all from the top all the way down. Only one did answer. So I went to the first vet, the second vet. I was literally going and stopping by these vets because I, th I said probably they have some emergency, so that's why they're not answering. And uh, yeah, that's how crazy it is. I live in a city, Casablanca, Morocco where you have 40 million, over 40 million people and not even one have one emergency. I'm not shitting on my country, but that's literally disappointing and, and, and that, that literally sucks, man. I mean, that's, that's crazy. So, and yeah, people, they put in the 24 hour seven on, on the Google, et cetera, et cetera. But the moment I call them, one of them is saying, oh, you know what? I asked Google to kind of change it. Say, how can he said, Oh, but now they're just gonna take time to change it. Said, Are you BSing me or what? If you're changing something on Google, that's gonna take effect right away. So don't tell me this kind of BS. And, and um, so yeah, and then fin finally uh, found a merciful soul that he said, You know, I could not sleep if I knew I could do something and didn't do it. So he came over there. And again, I didn't have any case, whatever. 
it was unintended so hopefully I have to, I had some napkins put them next uh, next to me and then I put the cat over there he was he was putting a lot of a little bit of blood he was uh, pooping on himself urinating on himself I mean he was in a not very good state because both his limbs based on um, the x-ray that we did both his limbs were broken one of them was literally broken into pieces like dust and and um, so yeah then what what I did I we, I brought him home and I spent the whole night with him. I didn't eat for the whole day. Like normally I generally do intermittent fasting. That's how I work. I do intermittent fasting for the whole day. And then at night is when I can eat so that I can stay productive. But what happened with him is that I could not eat because the moment I'm gonna eat, I would, you know, I would want to sleep. So what I did, ordered Red Bull Monster and I'm not doing any ads for them, whatever, that's all I found. And then I've been drinking still, I was sleeping. And it was literally one of the craziest nights I had because unfortunately he had a lot of pain. And because the guy, the vet to whom I took him to, he said, we cannot have the surgery today. Like, yeah, literally you can bring him in, he, we can do the x-rays, etc. but we cannot do the surgeries. And he was getting cold and cold. He was kind of losing consciousness a little bit. So I said, how come you telling me that he can still stay up until the, the rest, you know, until the next morning? And he calls me up until the next day at 11 a.m. But I told him it was not, I could not, I could not wait any longer. So I took him somewhere else. So we spent the night and that was literally every single minute, literally every single minute, if not less, seconds, I would have to go and take him, you know, I would have to change positions right you know right left you know whatever because he was in so much pain that he could not move his lower body that I had to do it literally I was just eat, drinking those caffeine that my heart started beating and that it was aching and I was sleeping still even with the, all that caffeine that was getting into my body I was still sleepy uh, and I remember it was like 12 p.m. 1 a.m. to uh, I was like God, please. When is 8 a.m. is gonna come? Because the, the, you know the, the vets they open up around 8:30, but still the main guy who does the, who does the surgeries, etc., etc., comes only after probably like 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. But still, um, that why am I sharing this story with you? Is that that's the thing you see a lot of people not taking care of these cats and there were many probably he could have been saved when he was in the sidewalk probably in the afternoon or whatever but nobody there to care about him that's how selfish society became we all about social media and all that kind of crap but if you're not doing anything with it to to kind of raise awareness to use it and leverage technology to do something great you know who cares at the end of the day and uh, so yeah that that was my story of the day um, but at the end of you know came back home put him this morning came back home they told me uh, I took him to the vet the vet told me right away hey you want the truth yes she said he's screwed while the other told me that we can do the surgery but I knew based on experience that we could not you know we could not cut him open in the morning and he was in a hypothermia state. That means his temperature, his body temperature was so low, which is 32 degrees Celsius. Um, I'm gonna do the, um, the conversion in, you know, in, in Fahrenheit. And then when I took him over there, he was literally not like that active. So what happened? And when the, actually the broken limbs was, were not much of that problem. It was more about the rectum. So the rectum was fully opened up. That like it was busted, like literally. So that he would he would put he you know, he would um, you know, just get out of whatever fickles he has on himself. It was going to be inside, so he was gonna infect the whole thing. He was eating, he was drinking, I was happy, I thought it was it, but at the end of the day I was wrong, came back home and they told me we're gonna let it, let him there for three days if things are going actually it was just a way to tell me you know we're gonna let him but they told she, the girl told me he was screwed right like you know straight up so what happened 
came back to the vet, uh, came back home, sat for three hours, I wake up with the phone, I understood. Fortunately, he's dead. But at the same time, I'm happy for him because he's not suffering any, anymore right now. And, um, you know, hopefully we're gonna see each other in a different life. But you know the major lesson that I, I take from this? It's not, you know, the sleepless night is out, uh, is, is gone. Everything is gone. It's all about the experience. What you did, that hundreds of thousands of people, I'm not trying to brag whatever, I'm just telling you, don't be the person waiting for someone. Be the man, be the guy, be the woman, be the girl who's gonna go and take in the action. Because this world does not need people like we're just spectators, just clapping, just fans. No, we need to take action. So again, thank you so much for watching. And if you can take action by putting um, a little bit of money, it is one, whether it is $1, $10, um, $20, whatever, I'm gonna leave the link down below. And it's just a way to help these little, you know, animals uh, and help them, you know, from, from, um, the bad destiny um, hopefully that's gonna help and appreciate you all please do, do make sure to subscribe share 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 and comment because that's gonna help the channel to make it grow very quickly and hopefully monetize that channel get more people to donate and sponsor cats and more adopters so that we can help more and more and more lives so don't wait for someone to do it and thank you for doing it yourself because it's all about you. Don't wait for someone to do it. You do it. You are the person. So thank you again, and I'll see you on the next one. God bless you. God bless your family. Have a wonderful day. Cheers.